Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're just going to show you some of the options that you have available for mapping for Northern and Southern Ireland on a Garmin handheld GPS device. For Great Britain, we do have options of Ordnance Survey mapping when you select the various units in the drop down boxes, but Garmin don't produce any Ordnance Survey mapping for Northern and Southern Ireland. So that's when we're going to show you some of the options that you have. So Garmin actually give you with certain units their own topoactive European mapping, which covers all of Europe. So you will get Northern and Southern Ireland on those maps. So I'm going to give you an idea of the units that have that mapping already installed. We have the Garmin eTrex 20. 22x, the Garmin 32x, we have the Garmin GPS Map 65, 65s, the Garmin GPS Map 67 and 67i, and the Montana 700, 700i and 750i. When you select any of these items, you have an option that says mapping options, and we always show with the Topo Active European maps. In the drop down boxes, you can pick an Ordnance Survey Great Britain map card, 1 to 50 or 1 to 25. You will still get that European mapping on the memory of the unit, but you have options of Ordnance Survey mapping for Great Britain. But if you are in Ireland and you purchase a unit with the Topo Active Maps, we're going to show you what those look like. And I'm going to use Garmin Basecamp, Garmin's free planning software that you can put on a Windows or Mac computer just to give you an idea of what it looks like and then show you some of the other options that are available. So I'm just going to go on to Basecamp software. I've got my own GPS map 67i connected. So it has the very latest 2024 version. If I go to the maps menu, I can see here I've got Topoactive Europe Central East and West 2024. This is the one that comes on your unit. Now when you get a unit from us, it will have a factory installed version of this mapping on. So it potentially be an older version it could be the 2022 uh, some of the factory installed ones still have the 2020 map on but you can update these maps for life for free on a computer using software called Garmin Express if you actually purchase the GPS map 67 or 67i you can actually update these maps now to the latest version using Wi-Fi if you don't own a computer but for all the other ones you do need a computer we update the firmware in the units before we send them out but not the mapping because it can take two or three hours to update on a computer but it is worth doing because if you do update to the latest Total Active 2024 version I'm going to show you what these ones look like first because these are included as you saw on many of the units that we sell so I'm just going to go to one of the mountains um, in Southern Ireland just to show you what the mapping actually looks like. So if you just give me two seconds there, I'm just going to zoom in. So this is Karen Two Hill. I'm just going to zoom out to give you an idea whereabouts we are. This is a basic map at the moment, but I'm going to change the detail level just to show you what the mapping looks like. So we have an option in Basecamp software where we do actually show this on all our training videos that you get access to for free on how you can change things like this. But I'm going to put it to a much higher detail level Initially, when you first load it, we put it at the lower detail level just so we can move around a little bit quicker. And this gives you an idea in the Karen Two Hill area what the mapping actually looks like. So I'm just going to slowly zoom out just to give you a bigger picture. There we go. So there's a lot of information on here, but what you'll find as we zoom in, this is where the detail changes. And that's the sort of information that we're seeing. So we've got this area of scree. I've actually got the mountain top there marked with a symbol. And if you click on any of the lines, if you're not sure what they are, it does tell you. Because, of course, we don't we don't have a map key, unfortunately, for this digital map. So it's telling me that's a trail. Um, sometimes if you click on some of the bigger rivers, it'll tell you what they are. We can actually see the names in there. There's, again, another mountain top here. So what I'm going to do now is switch between the different options just to show you the difference. So I know this is in Basecamp software, but you can get the same view on your GPS device. Colours might not quite be the same depending on the GPS device you've got. They're not always as defined as the computer version, but the map detail level, if you change the detail level on your unit to a higher setting, 
will be this Topo Active Europe map if you update to the latest 2024 version. So I'm just going to change the map now to one of the other options. So another map that I use, it's the one that you can purchase from Garmin for £19.99 and download it to your unit. It's called Garmin Topo UK and Ireland V11 Lite is the latest version. So I've actually downloaded this to my own unit and put it on the internal storage. If you don't have enough memory, you can always put a memory card, SD card in the back, uh, micro SD card, should I say, in the back of your unit for increased memory. So this one cost me 19.99 from Garmin. You do need a computer to download it and install it to your unit using Garmin Express. If you purchase a unit from us and you get stuck with anything like this, we do give you our years email and telephone support, so it would always help you if you got stuck but you can see it's a slightly different style it's got more from what i can see more contour lines if i just flick between there's the topo active west one that you get free on your unit and if i go to this one that's cost me 19.99 see the contour lines are a bit closer together it's just got different colors and it's a different style i can actually see the emergency shelter marked here and if i go back to the topo active west one it hasn't got the emergency shelter marked so I'll go back to this topo active light one and again I'll just zoom out to give you an idea as we zoom out what we see have a little move around on it so it's a I think it's a nice looking map lots of contour information and um, it's a one that I really like on my unit I use it for Great Britain as well but we can see lots of mountain tops marked here as we go around the map and obviously the red dashes there will be the trails there we go devil's ladder router tells me when i left click on there and it's got the name of the route here as well so lots of information on the map lots of contour lines so that is the topo uk and ireland v11 light map that you can purchase from garmin directly you have to do it from garmin as a download 1999 but if you bought a unit from us and you get stuck we're always here to help you I'm now going to go on to another map that's available. This is from a company called Toki Toaster. We'll put a link below on where you can actually get the Toki Toaster maps from. Um, so it's one you purchase from another company. Toki Toaster do offer their own technical support. So they do, if you buy a map from them, they'll do the technical support. You get more always here if you get stuck, if you've bought a unit from us. But the guy you Toki Toaster is very good with technical support. You can either do it as a download that you get sent that you unzip and drop onto a memory card or he does have an option where you can purchase on a memory card so again it's a different style map i can change the detail level down a bit if there's too much information on the map so generally i find this works better when you're in more of an urban environment but you see there i've put the detail level down a bit and then I can put it back up in base camp it's just a setting that we add a toolbar to the top of base camp if i click on there i can see that's a symbol for an emergency shelter and i'm just going to zoom out to give you an idea on this one again lots of contour lines on it we can see the mountain tops is a different symbol when i click on them it's the same on your unit gps if you move the cursor or tap on any of the symbols it'll tell you what they are I'll just put the detail level down slightly as I zoom out and then again I'll flick through all of the map options I've got one more to show you but again that's me just zooming out on this one zoom back in and I'll put the detail level back up to the highest level the last one I'm going to show you is a one that if you purchase a GPS device from us and you are needing mapping for southern or northern Ireland um, it may be you're not buying the unit with the topo active maps it might be one of the other units uh, things like the GPS map 86 units that don't come with the topo active Europe mapping we will put some open source mapping on for Ireland for you now the main difference with the one I'm going to show you is not so much the detail level but it has elevation data built into it so when i go through all of the maps that i've discussed the one that you get free on the unit which i'm going to go back to now which is the topo active europe one even though you can see contour lines with elevation data marked if we were to plan a route 
<coughs> on this map or a track we don't actually get an elevation graph that you can see in front of you before you do the walk or in base camp software all of the other map options have elevation data built in i will give you a demonstration of that but if you did like the look of this topo active one and thought yes i want that map um sorry i'm happy with that map for the detail level <clears throat> but i would like to see elevation data when i plan a route we can still stick onto your unit some open source mapping which i'm just going to show you now so we don't charge for this so this is the open source mapping that we can put on for free for no charge now even though it might look as detailed as some of the other ones it's still not a bad map but what's nice is it's got elevation data built in so when you plan a route you can plan a route on any of the other maps that you decide to go for but if we've given you this one for free on your unit and um, you just need to put in the notes when you order from this free open source island you can then go into your track that you've um planned on base camp software and tell it to set the elevation data to the map and then it sets it to the elevation data that's built into this map so i'll just flick through the maps once more and then i'll show you an idea of that elevation graph what we're talking about and then i'm going to move to northern ireland just to show you the same sets of maps with an area in northern ireland in the Mourne hills again just to give you a feel of what these maps look like so i'm just going to go from the maps in order that i showed them so on your gps devices if it's got the option of topo active europe in the maps drop down box when you order from us when you update the maps when you get the unit using garmin express on a computer or wi-fi you can do the map 67 units this is the map that you will end up with for northern and southern ireland it's all of europe actually so you've got all of europe with this map being included on your unit once you've updated it this is what the map looks like at the highest just check yet the highest detail level i'll just leave that zoomed in there go to the next map that we talked about from garmin you can purchase this one called topo uk an island light cost 19.99 from garmin you do need a computer with garmin express to install this one to your unit so this one does have elevation data built in when you plan a route the next one that I showed you was a one you can buy from a company called Toki Toaster. We will put the link below. Um, we do have a link uh, where we um, where we put recommendations to the Toki Toaster site. So if you can use our link, that would be much appreciated. Then Martin at Toki Toaster knows that we've recommended his maps for you. So this one has elevation data built in as well when you plan your route on Basecamp software. So that's the Toki Toaster one. And finally, for free, we will put an open source map on. We don't charge for this if you need island on your unit. We'll put the island one on for free if you put it in the notes. But the advantage of this one is if you haven't bought um, the Topo UK and Island one, uh, light from Garmin or the Toki Toaster and you just want to use the free Topo Active map that your unit came with if you get this one off us you will have some elevation data built in which I'm just going to demonstrate now and then I'll move to the Northern Ireland area just to show you the maps up there so now I'm going to go to the free map the Topo Active Europe West one and I'm just going to show you if I was planning a route on this map so I'm just going to come down into the lower hills yet yeah, maybe you've got a guidebook or something in front of you and you can actually see the paths that you want to go on so i'm just going to use the track tool you can use the track or route tool and i'm just going to click on some paths to actually draw a route just doing this as a rough one i haven't actually got in front of anything in front of me to copy so this might not be a perfect walk for anyone who knows the area but at least um sorry just made a mistake there i'll just undo that at least it'll give you an idea what we're talking about with the elevation graph so i'm just again taking it up the paths here just doing this quite rough um that was my fault touching on the mouse i'm just going to undo the bit i've done there just get this a little bit higher and then it'll give you an idea of how we can change and get elevation so just drawing a simple track there and what i'm going to do is just show you if i open up the track properties and say graph there is no elevation data but if i actually change the map now to the one that we can put on for free for you just really for the elevation data and then if i select the track i can actually say set elevation to the map and now if i go into the graph i've actually got an elevation graph doesn't matter now if i change the map back to the topoactive west one 
if I go back into the graph, I've got an elevation graph. So it's just a nice feature. If you do get that free one office on your unit, even if you've got the Topo Active Europe one, you'll have some elevation data when you plan. So what I'm going to do now is just go to a different part of Ireland. I'm going to go to Northern Ireland. I'm just going to change the detail level back down just so it loads a little bit quicker, show you where I am. And then we'll go through the different map options again, just so you can see what they look like. You'll find as you move around in Basecamp software, the maps do get quicker the more that you move around on the actual areas. So this is an area in the Morn Hills. So this is the free topoactive Europe maps that you get on the units that I showed you earlier. So again, I'll put the detail level up to the highest detail setting. Um, I just marked the flag so I could find this quickly on Basecamp software. But that gives you an idea again what the map looks like and then I'm just going to go through the different options again so the next one I showed you when we're in Southern Ireland was the Topo UK and Ireland V11 Lite that you can purchase from Garmin for $19.99 so again you see slightly different style and colours this one does have elevation data built in if you're planning on it if you get stuck download it you know always give us a shout if you bought a unit from us you do get your free one year's email and telephone support obviously Garmin themselves will offer support on this as well where they've been a download from their website so this is available from Garmin Topo UK and Ireland V11 Lite and I'm just going to now move on to the Toki Toaster one. We've put a link below and um, where you can get the Toki Toaster one from. If you can use this link, it would be much appreciated because Martin knows that we've recommended his maps. And generally you can get these at the moment for £13 from Toki Toaster as a download. Or he does offer options on a micro card if you get in touch via the link that we put below for Toki Toaster. If you'd like to purchase these maps from Toki Toaster. So you, there's an option where you can get it sent out on a micro SD card or you can have it sent as a download and Martin will help you out with technical support with instructions on how you install that onto a micro card or your unit. And then that is the Toko, uh, sorry, the Toki Toaster one. And again, the one that we can put on for free, which is more to do with having the elevation data is this one here so a different style one but we will put that on your unit for free if you put in the notes when you order that you would like the island open source map included i'm just going to move across to an urban environment now just to show you what the, all the maps look like so this is the free one that we can put on lots of place names car park signs etc and then i'll just flick through all the maps again the Topo Active West one that's included. If you find it gets too cluttered with the icons when you're in an urban environment, you can change the detail level to a lower setting so you remove some of the clutter, but it depends what you want to see and how much detail. So I'll put this back up again to the highest level. So that's the free Topo Active one that's included on a lot of Garmin units. The Topo UK and Island V11 Lite, 1999 from Garmin gives you an idea what that one looks like it's a digital map all these ones are digital maps so when you zoom in they're still nice and clear and sharp same on your unit and I'm now going to go to the Toki Toaster one again we'll put the link below so again different style and colors but still lots of information on this map and then finally again I did have it at the start but the free one that we can put on more so for the elevation data is that one we all have our favorites um i quite often use the the topo uk and island v11 light i like the toki toaster map but again it's one of those sometimes I, I like the option of having different choices so on my unit you can probably tell i've got lots of different maps on i i often flick through the different maps depending where i am and find out which one works best many times i've actually used the free topo active one as long as you update it to the 2024 version i sometimes find when i'm following a route on the unit and you're following the pink line on your unit having a slightly lesser detailed map as long as it's got in information that you need it's easier to see the pink line you're following and the nice thing is if you do put different maps on your unit maybe you put a memory card in and drop a few onto a memory card on your unit you can do the same as what we're doing in base camp here i can flick between saying right i need a slightly different map now with a bit extra detail and i can flick between the different maps that we've got on the unit to decide which one is best for the activity i'm doing but I hope you found this video useful on just showing you a few of the different options that are available for you if you're buying a GPS device from us and you're needing maps for Northern or Southern Ireland where we don't have the Ordnance Survey map options that we have for Great Britain. 
and thanks for watching.